intuition babies and i'm here to do your monthly spiritual guidance from spirit your guides jesus allah the universe whatever it is you believe in okay this is what they want you to pay attention to in the month of september so if you guys hear any lightning any heart rain i don't know if you can hear it or not but <laughs> just know that i am in florida it is raining it is storming okay so yeah you might hear that in the background um, however, my love muffin, I also want you guys to keep in mind that this is a general reading, okay? It may resonate with some and it may not. However, there are so many beautiful souls that are sharing their gifts. You're going to find someone who picks up on your energy, baby. So if it, the shoe does not fit, do not force it, all right? So one of the things that I did last, um, I've been doing like for the last two to three months is before I get into your spiritual guidance for the month of September or that month, I just get some cards that I'm guided to and I allow spirit to flow with any additional messages or anything that you really need to pay attention to, whatever spirit wants to um, come forth and say that I don't grab in the monthly spiritual guidance, okay? So as I was in your energy, Libra, as I was meditating, um, doing my little intuitive session that I do before I do your readings, I'm coming over like this, this nervousness, okay, <laughs> this nervousness for you. And I really feel like, as you can see from this title, I don't just randomly give you your guys' title. Spirit does this. And you have, you're being guided to in the month of September to reach for the stars. There's something that you're very nervous about. I, I feel like there's a lot of passion that just rushes in in the month of September. For some of you, that can be in career. For some of you, that can be in your love life. But there's just something that's making you jittery, nervous, that's giving you butterflies, okay? Some of the words that I just seen were sunshine, okay? Um, <laughs> it's almost like a fairy tale, I'm just getting like the like you're in a whimsical energy like you're just so optimistic you're just so you're just so happy and but I'm so happy for you Libra because I feel like you deserve this happiness because you know just what has happened in the past you know um I really feel like a lot of you are getting out of a funk all right and just really coming into your flow and there's something that is arriving your way in the month of September and you're questioning it just like is this is this too good to be true? Is this, it could be an opportunity. It could be a person. It could be something just within yourself. But um, it just has you thinking like, wait, no, life is just not, you know, it just can't be this good. But yes, it is, Libra. I need you to invite this new wave, this energy, this frequency that you're, um, that's coming in for you with all the work and the love and dedication that you have put into yourself, a process and something, okay? So yes, life is working out for you. If you find yourself questioning, is this too good to be true? Um, you know, this isn't for me. It is for you. And yes, it's good to be true and it's for you. Okay. <laughs> so that's what I picked up in the intuitive session when I was meditating. So like I said, reach for the stars. Let's see what you're reaching for. Cause I'm, I'm very inquisitive. I would love to know. <laughs> I just feel like there's good vibes. Why are you nervous? What's going on? Okay. So what I'm going to do, um, Libra is we're just going to start this thing off and just see what's, Oh, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. I forgot. Ooh, maybe, I mean, maybe you're just so nervous and good things are coming, <laughs> you know, maybe that's a cue. Like, you know, for somebody to, um, maybe slow down and enjoy the moment. You know, you're going great places. You're doing great things. You know, enjoy these moments, okay? Enjoy the moments. Enjoy, enjoy these good moments. Enjoy these, this good energy that's coming your way. You know, slow down and really take time to enjoy it, okay? So with what I did, with whatever, um, with what I want to see is with the message 
I'm just breathing deep, Libra. I just feel like it's so much excitement. It's like a whirlwind of excitement coming your way in the month of um, September. You're just on this high. I think August was good to you. <laughs> and um, maybe you're just taking all this in. You're just taking all this this, this change, this, this, this vibration in that you're on, okay? So what I want to do is I want to pull from my... Um, Motiv motivation manifesto cards and just tie in a, a me an additional message or close out what spirit gave me during our intuitive session okay when i was just you know um, meditating on your energy let's see how all that ties in this whimsical this sunshine you know reaching for the stars you know not questioning it you know just knowing that this is for you let's see what message does spirit have for libra Okay, so let's see what spirit has to say. Okay, so we have, we have, how many times have you caused ourselves pain because we failed to pause and think? How would my best self view and respond to this situation? Okay, so I don't know if you realized how I was so eager, so optimistic, so going forth, okay? Um, but... You know, I almost, I was so happy, I almost skipped this actual step. So I really feel like in the month of September, so many good things are coming your way. So many opportunities, okay? You definitely want to make sure that you pause, all right, okay? And um, ponder some things. You know, reach for the stars, um, Libra. I feel like there's a lot of good things coming your way. I, I don't want to like, you know, contradict what I'm saying. But at the same time, you just want to pause. You want to reflect, you know, really think about... Um, the opportunities that are presenting themselves, okay? Because I feel like there's a wish fulfillment. Make sure you grab the right wish, you know, um, or the right thing so you don't have to, you know, miss out or even second guessing it and you miss out, okay? By causing yourself um, pain, okay? Because you just feel like this is just too real, just too real, you know, just too, this is too good to be real. So definitely want to make sure that you ground yourself. I'm feeling the need to ground yourself with your nerves and the excitement, okay? Can have you a little jittery. So just make sure that you ground yourself, okay? In um, September when you're processing and when you're thinking about um, making a decision, okay? So let's just see what else does spirit have for you, okay? What else? do I just feel like you're coming down from a high. <laughs> what is this about? All right, so what would you like Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus spirit to know about September? All right, let's see. We have nature, okay? Yeah, so I really feel like um, one of the things, um, just to keep your energy high, to keep yourself going, make sure that you're going outside, connecting with nature, really grounding yourself is what I'm seeing, okay? Um, we also have like music, Um this is screaming to me, um, self care. Okay. Um, we also have communication relationship changes. Okay. So maybe that's why your nerves are a little jitty. Okay. Look at this time out. Remember I said, I'm seeing when I seen the communication, the music self care. So I really feel like what I'm hearing, um, your environment for some of you, Libra, your environment is changing. And I feel like with um, relationships, it could be family, maybe taking a time out from family, okay? Maybe grounding yourself so you can think clearly concerning family or some kind of relationship dynamic, even if it's in love. Maybe you're a little nervous about love, all right? Definitely connect with the music. I feel like somebody really connects with the music or, you know, the divine is sending you signs through music, okay? And I feel like, you know, definitely make sure that you're taking time out for yourself. Time out for yourself. Okay. Let's just see what else. Because I just, I want to, what is this feeling, Spirit? If you can please put it into words, this feeling that I'm feeling. Because I feel like there's so many good things coming your way, Libra. But I'm, I'm trying to figure out, okay, this card just fell. Let's see. We also have have faith in your dreams. Let's see what this is about. Oh, the personal issue is reaching resolution so i feel like there's something with so much goodness coming your way so much you know positive opportunities i just feel like there's some kind of relationship change whether it's so, like a roommate or i feel like it's family or, or platonic some kind of relationship where 
I don't know, they really have a say on your personal life or something. And I'm saying that, you know, um, Libra, you definitely want to stay true to you. Um, I, I feel like um, for some of you, if you're staying with a person of some sort, um, I feel like maybe your relationship is changing. It's time for you to, you know, venture out. It could be like a roommate. It's crazy what I'm feeling. I'm trying to like, yeah, these cars were flipped. Wow. We got a time out. <laughs> All that glitters isn't gold. Okay. Mm hmm. Let's see what else here. What would you like Libra to know? Never ending story. Okay. Bless. See, it's like, I really feel like, um, Libra, you're pulling yourself out of an old way of thinking. Okay. And you're really coming into new and you're really realizing that your dreams that you're, you know, the things that you desire is within reach. Okay. You're maybe reaching for a star and it's within reach, but I feel like you're pulling yourself out of a negative situation and really ascending in the month of September. But I feel like it's, it's, it's a goodness. There's so much goodness around you. However, there's a situation that is draining, you know, and then we have tribe, you know, um, reverse. So I really feel like it's an intimate, it's some family connection, some, something that's, you know, it's just a never ending story. That's what I'm picking up on. All right. And, but I feel like, um, you're coming out of this, you're coming out of it. All right. Let's see what else spirit has to say about this. All right, spirit, how would you like to tie this in this additional message? Yeah, I feel like, you know, just know that if this needs to happen, maybe there's a family, there's a situation at home where the peace has been erupted. And even though like you're really flowing and everything is working out, Libra, it's just like you can't get over this situation or this, this, I feel like, a, like somebody that's drained, it's like a vampire. Yeah, like, a, like they just suck the life out of you. Yeah, it says connect to the... Connect to the paws of Mother Earth. She will guide you through this time of change. Okay, yeah, so something in your family dynamic, some home dynamic, relationship dynamic, okay, is changing for you guys, okay? And I really feel like um, we also, the card that just fell was reflection, okay? And it's all about reflecting. We also have strength here. And it says you are being guided, okay, by the cosmos. Stay strong. A positive outcome is assured. So I really feel like, you know, Something is changing in, in, in some form as far as some relationship dynamic. I'm really strongly feeling family, friends, roommate, like something is really shifting. And it's going to take you some courage and some tr strength to really just move away from, from, away from this situation. Because I feel like you have so much good things going into your life. But maybe when you come around this person, they just like, it just sucks the life out of you. You know, yeah. Because you have celebration. Celebrate your achievements. You truly are a gift to the universe, okay? There's so much abundance around you, okay? You know? Um, but I feel like there's a person... It's just like draining and, and it's time to like, you know, no more letting them leech off of you. No more letting them, you know, do that. OK, because I feel like there's so much goodness. It's it's like they're even the, that energy is like overpowering all the goodness that you're experiencing in your life. So maybe you can't even enjoy what's coming in, Libra, you know, because of this person. OK, but just have patience. OK, it, it, it's really going to this situation is really going to work itself out. OK, is what I'm hearing. Just ground yourself. You just need to ground yourself, all right, and listen to your intuition. <laughs> all right, my love, so we're going to go ahead and get into your monthly spiritual guidance. And hello, my Libras. We're going to go ahead and jump right into your monthly spiritual guidance, and right now we're going to go over what is crowning you. That is the things that you're really going to be thinking about, okay, or some things that spirit is going to be placing on your mind for you to process, okay, and for you to address <laughs> in the month of September, and then we're going to go over what spirit wants you to know about love this month. And then any information spirit feels like if you're aware of it and you apply it, Libra, it's going to bring you more fulfillment this month. And then the word that spirit really wants you to keep at the forefront of your mind in the month of September. OK, so I'm just going to go ahead and lay these cards out. I know we're doing it just a little different, <laughs> but don't worry. OK, it's a little different layout, but the same thing. Okay. So the first thing that, um, is crowning you and where my eyes are really going to is this self care right here. 
Um, Libra, I really feel like you, you're being crowned in the month of September to really pour into yourself, to really, um, you know, be about you, um, on a, I'm even seeing it more so on a physical level and even spiritual, but more so physical, you're getting back into the, the things that you like, the things that make you happy, even hiking. I'm hearing like, um, exercising, um, even with your dietary change, different foods and stuff. I really feel like you're very, um, you're being guided by spirit to join in and just really throw some radical self-care and self-love your way. And you're doing that, okay? You're really doing that. And I feel like by the more that you love on yourself, um, Libra, in the month of September, things are going to be be made very clear on what's for you and what's not for you. And you're going to know how to move accordingly and what you need to remove, okay? Um, this car I have right here is solitude and this is the island and I feel like this all joins in into self-care. I feel like it's been in the month of September, you're really taking the time to go within um, on a spiritual level and to really dissect, to really see, you know, what's working for you, Libra, and what's not working for you. You know, what has ended you in a lot of happiness and what has ended you in, you know, situations that are not so happy. But at the core of it, I really feel like you're working through your, um, you're like working through like your heart space. Okay. Working through your foundation. So, um, you're really going to be guided by spirit to spend some time alone. If you're usually a Libra that likes to get out there <laughs> and, you know, um, get out there in the crowd, you're, um, being guided to really, um, pause on that, but more so join in with some solitude. So you can really gain some mental clarity, make some decisions, because like I said, you have a wish fulfillment. You have reached for the stars in spite of, okay. In spite of whatever comes your way, the, um, also new beginnings, things that you're desiring to start. And also spirit is also preparing you to go within, to love yourself, to really open you up to this new beginning. Okay. This new beginning. And for some of you, it's in love, it's in career and some kind of family dynamic, your own, like, um, moving off into your own. For some of you, it's really a physically a state cross cross country or just your own space. Okay. But also, you're just being reminded of how powerful you are right here, all right? You're taking your power back. So just continue that, um, you know, in the month of September. Do anything that really helps you, um, you know, realize who you are, okay, Libra? So that's what's crowning my babes <laughs> in the month of September. Now we're going to just go into love, okay? And the first thing um, that I pulled, Libra, is I wanted to pull an overall energy. It doesn't matter whether you're single, in a relationship, knowing somebody, it doesn't matter. Like, this is what the energy of love needs from you in the month of September. You have, you were born with that it quality. So I really feel like when it comes to love, you're being um, guided to really to see yourself in a new light, to really, you know, really um, dive in on that emperor or empress energy. Like you're the big shebang. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know what happened to you in the past in love where people really took advantage of that loving energy and just who you are as a whole. But I, I really feel like um, you've been healing. You've been men mending Libra. So you're being guided to just really open up. Okay. You're being guided to, um, Really see yourself how the divine sees you. And this is really going to help um, you when it comes to your relationships, okay? Really help you open up, okay, in your relationships. But it starts with you. And on the back of this card, it says, do you want to know what's really beautiful? Confidence. Do you want to know what's really powerful? All right. It says persistence. Do you want to know what's really sexy? Please, I know about sexy. Not needing to be needed. And if still they don't notice your good looks, your strengths and your um, sachet, could you feel more sorry for them? Basically realizing that you're the prize, okay? That you're the prize and you're really coming in. I feel like you're embodying that energy of really knowing your worth in the month of September. And this is really setting you up, Libra, for the ultimate relationship or for your, if you're even in a relationship, for your relationship to strengthen and get better. Because when you realize that, you know, you don't need anybody or you don't need to be needed besides you, man, that's a powerful thing. All right. That is so freaking powerful. So in relationships, we have a past relationship. You have known each other before. It's safe for you to love. Okay. We also have um, religious factors. Then we have you deserve love. 
and honeymoon. Okay. So what I'm seeing for this, my loves, I really feel like, um, even if you're in a relationship, I feel like by you really tapping into your spiritual beliefs, you, like really connecting with spirit and solitude, um, it's really going to allow you, um, if you're desiring, you're wondering like, okay, if you're already in a relationship or even marriage, because listen to what I'm saying, cause I'm feeling multiple energies, but I feel like it's a healthy relationship, but you know, sometimes the quote unquote honeymoon phase has, has weared off. Okay. Um, I really feel when you tap into spirit and really see yourself, okay, really know that you deserve love and you're lovable. Okay. And, and really, um, feel that to you, you're going to really open up to this connection. Okay. And, um, I really feel like the passion and the, you know, whatever was missed, um, you know, where the communication was missing, it's really going to be brought back. Okay. That's one scenario that I'm seeing it, that I'm seeing it. Okay. Now, um, I'm also seeing, um, we're going to deal with my singles. I really feel like Spirit is really working with you to really open up and come into this full energy. I really feel like you took a time out of honeymoon phase within yourself just to really pour some love into yourself, really connect with yourself. And I feel like this is bringing call. You're calling in a past relationship, a, a relationship that is really of your highest, highest good. OK, and this relationship is going to be safe for you to love. OK, and, and I feel like right now you're realizing that you're the it that you are the whole, you know, like that you're amazing and that you deserve love. So you can really open up and really receive this, but it's coming in and it's going to come in fast and it's going to be a lot of passion and this connection. Okay. A lot of this passion. And for some of you, somebody from your past is going to come back around. Um, I really feel like, uh, with you guys, like, you know, if you're so like someone you connected with, but it didn't go in, it didn't go as far as you thought it would. It's safe for you to love this person. This person had some spiritual lessons they were working through um, in order for you guys to really come back together and it be fruitful. So pay attention to that, okay? But I'm hearing like the communication is going to be swell. There's a lot of passion here. You're being guided to take a chance on this connection. Libra, it's really going to, it's really going to do you a lot of good justice to really open up to this connection. I feel like this person just watches you like they marvel you, like they're just so smitten by you. And I feel like you haven't really had that, <laughs> you know, in a long time in a relationship, like where like somebody is really genuinely connecting with you. And I feel like you and this person are going to connect on a spiritual level. It's like a spiritual connection here. I'm seeing like, if you identify like with, um, divine partner, twin flame, I don't believe twin flames are negative to each his own but i'm talking about like healthy maybe you guys had to go away heal mend and then come back you know what i'm saying something beautiful like that is what i'm seeing okay so that's what i see for you guys when it comes for love now we're going to look and see what information if you apply it or if you're aware of um it will bring you more fulfillment this month okay so let's see let's see okay first thing we have is wisdom okay then we have begin. <laughs> All right. And then we have your stability and security. Um, this deals with your root chakra. We also have freedom and we have you are understood. Okay. So I really feel like gaining some independence is coming very strongly for me. Taking your happiness, your joy off or your even your stability, even like your home life. Like I said, family did come up. Taking um, your independence or you being happy, um, not placing it in another person's hands. Um, Libra is really going to bring you a lot of fulfillment. You really knowing that you're secure and whole within yourself and really listening to your intuition. It says wisdom. See your adversities as op op opportunities to expand your spiritual light. So whatever comes your way, taking it as an opportunity to grow, taking it as an opportunity to really grow solid within your foundation and with who you are is really going to benefit you in the month of September. But I feel like you're being guided to begin a new journey. And this is all about yourself gaining that independency, you know, really stepping in your power and knowing who you are. I really feel like it's going to benefit you in the month of um, September. September Libra, okay? So any work that you're like any love or attention that you give to your root chakra, it's really going to benefit you this month. OK, so now we're going to see what word spirit wants you to keep at the forefront of your mind, Libra, before you 
act, you know, you really want to reflect on this and think about this, okay? My love, and that word is forgiveness, okay? <laughs> so I really feel like this is just like compassion compassion to me. This is like love to me. Um, realizing that forgiveness is not about a person, but more so about you, um, Libra. And above all, like forgive yourself. I feel like maybe um sometimes you let people guilt guilt trip you um into doing things or you know you feel guilty no let go of that forgiveness okay towards yourself you don't owe anybody anything and i really feel like you need to keep that at the forefront of your mind in the month of um september because you're really doing a lot of self-care a lot of love okay and really giving your forgiveness to yourself is going to allow you to say no to people and it's going to allow you to really stand in your power and make decisions for yourself where it comes to work spirituality family members anything okay <laughs> so i love you so much my libras it was such an honor to read for you guys i hope this message brought you clarity understanding all right you can always come back don't forget to like subscribe comment do all those social media things i'm friendly and i will catch you on my channels my love Mwah!